what's going on guys? We are back with uh, what's some going on guys? Dark pictures, we are back House with Ashes. It's uh, more uh, Dark Pictures, House of Ashes. House of Ashes. Uh, and uh yeah. House of Ashes right into it. And uh yeah. Let's get right into it. Story I've not played this like any of this Story one. Yet, I've not so played this we'll see like, how it goes. any of this one yet, so we'll see how it goes. What the fuck? No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. King, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple. Is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is Looks like you're not seeing much there, dog. Looks like you're not seeing much there, dog. Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sand. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. By your command. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> 
Him. Um, him. Oh shit, it's an eclipse. Oh shit, it's an eclipse. Give me strength. Cursed. Our king has cursed us all. Who thought you were the demons? You are wrong. The king sacked the temple at the pool. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent.
free of his madness now, as are we all. Free to die. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. I'm coming. First chance I get, I'm killing any one of them. First chance I get, I'm killing any one of them. Help me with this. Cadian, scared of a rodent? I have seen it all now. How many men died for our king? Their sacrifice bought him nothing. Help me with this. <laughs> you first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? Nothing to concern an Arcadian. How do we get out of here alive? You worry about your own hide, and I'll look after mine. What was that? How many ways into this tomb? here. There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! 
If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Yep, more dark pictures. And yep, more dark pictures. Another dark pictures intro. Another dark pictures intro. Depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. You're probably keen to get started, but let's not dally anymore. As you are aware, I am the curator. Of text. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. 
This is my repository. It's filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. <laughs> to descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, Dan's time has run out here. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Four favors. Here was born, baby. Colonel, good trip. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. The new year? The new king in the castle. Looks that way. <laughs> you are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Cold check. First lieutenant. Cold check. Well, the briefing room? Whoa, 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 what the hell? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King just arrived on base, Dad. He's on route to three. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. It's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Rachel, are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. We should put this on ice. On ice? Just like that? So what, we just, we just stop the highway? That's exactly how it worked. And my husband is here. For crying out loud, Nick, how else do you think it works? From now on, we just... We just have to keep a little distance. Sounds like an order, man. Say no more. I get it. Shit.
have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. It blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down at the candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> Saddam. We got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. <laughs> out those reps. Uh, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. <laughs> we have company. Yeah. Well, even this here would like to watch me get my sweat on. You want to spot me, little lady? I see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merlin. He likes social skills. <laughs> uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So, what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk. You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? This must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Yeah, be quiet. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. I'm telling you, if the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, hot shot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. <laughs> Brett, let's get you set up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. Always to have you listen to you. We got a deal, lady. What is this place, anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Oh, that's exactly what it is. I guess the damn like to get down on the dance floor. <laughs> dance partner stepped on a skate as being impotent. Off with her head. <laughs> well, it wouldn't surprise me. Could be one of them I haven't seen in years. As long as you don't step on my foot. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. 
I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given the orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rachel. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? Briefing room. 1500 hours. Fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That fucking means something to me. The thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. <laughs> you behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. And he's banging your Very way. well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds to bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio silence within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. I just don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, the rug down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what we get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I have concerns. Well, 
this team barely know each other, and you're thinking about sending them 500 clicks into bandit country. It's too soon. They're not even remotely close to being ready. If I'm not mistaken, they're forced recon. It's their job to be ready. We don't have time to rework this. This is what's going to get us home, Rachel. I wish you'd reconsider. No. My decision is final. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Eric. Please, let me finish. Not a day went by when you weren't on my mind, when I didn't want you by my side. I've missed you so much, Rach. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse, a lot worse. Look, Eric, we'll talk. When we have time. But not here. Not like this. You're still wearing your wedding ring. Hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. Got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. Is five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. <clears throat> Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. <clears throat> what the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? Then give me some more shooters. Tell me, Corporal, are you afraid of heights? <laughs> Please. I'm forced recon. I've trained in high altitude, low opening parachute jumps. Hostile conditions that would make most men wake up screaming for their mama. You've been quite the picture. I hope you're more than just mouth, Marine. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. <laughs> nice one. You think we'll bag Demico Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. That almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind the desk. If shit hits the fan, at least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. He seemed confident. He seemed surprised. The pastor who we know was sleeping. Oh, it's fucking.
think it is. Huh? WP, sir. White phosphorus? Just for popping smoke, that's all. These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Yeah. I am. Download complete. Now get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, he's nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? Yeah, we're gonna drop in the next episode. episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good one. And I'm out. Bye.